guys, and welcome to another episode of Greedy Craft, where today we're going to be uh, generating ores from cobblestone. Alright, so just been running some conduits, um, and yeah, made a bunch of the stuff and just ran it. Uh, it's kind of connected into this line and just running along here, which could, could I guess, a little bit of a waste because it's a little bit expensive to make these, but it's going to be cool, it's going to be cool, and then we don't have to worry probably at least for a while about replacing these cables. So, uh, got a couple of goes at where I was going to put this. So yeah, we have over here our farmer. He's now getting power and the reason I wanted to use conduits instead of like our flux duct is because then we can also have an item conduit. And hey, that looks kind of dumb because you can see see the gap there so I think dirt will be better there and we've got I just harvested our infrenium seeds obviously long term we want to put this in an organic infuser because that's going to result in a 12% chance of getting more tier 6 infrenium seeds and it's actually really cool that we got these as a quest reward I don't know if that's changed or if you still get these I think it was just because I got it out of a loot, loot crate an epic loot crate must have so we check these here, and we're going to have Infernium. Now what I'm interested in is whether or not, and I think it does, I think the farmer actually breaks the crop, which is a pain because it means we don't just want to set up all of these seeds because eventually we're going to end up I mean, it would be fine for a while, because I don't think we get bonus seeds from just harvesting. So yeah, maybe we'll put these here too. And that's just like our gold seeds, um, our ghast seeds, and just other, other bits and pieces we've gotten from random quest rewards. And we'll just have some crops here. Now what I would like to do is get an apiary. We're gonna live there. Let's grab some bees out of this dude. Uh, whoops. Cool. And that should be like an instant uh, increase in crop growth. As for where we're gonna put all this stuff, I think for now we'll just have a chest. Um, eventually we want to hook it like back into ooh, back into our applied energistic system. Um, let's go for a diamond chest because hopefully we end up with a lot of stuff. And we'll put you here so we can have an item conduit. And you're just going to extract. Always active. Insert. Um, it's going to take a while for these guys to grow, obviously. Ah, I also made a horn of the wild. Um, this thing is handy. If I use it here, it would break all that crops, so we don't want to use it here. But I was just using it for tidying up the, the grass. So, like, we run over here. Hold right click. And it breaks all the crops. We, we, we don't need all of this stuff. Um, so, just handy for clearing out stuff. Oh. Picked up way more than I thought it was going to. Yeah, so potentially quite useful. Um, and the recipe for that was pretty easy. Um, just living wood and a pasture seed, which was literally grass in a mana pool. Wasn't an issue, we just happened to have mana sitting over there. Let's do the solid centrifuge. This guy's going to be handy um, because he will turn like dirt into iron and things like that. We can get wood essence. Yeah, like gravel into iron ore. And get silicon, which is handy, and coal, which is also handy. And we can set up some sort of cobblestone gen. So that isn't like a natural cobblestone generator, but we can we can probably sort that. And it just takes power and not much power and some water. So let's build a a solid centrifuge. We could have made this ages ago too. So three blocks of steel. That's a bit of steel. Um, let's get some more producing, and that was in this guy. Just nitro, redstone, and sand. Um, I really need to take some redstone out of here. Yep, 
Yeah, we got some cold coke in here. Let's just do like three, which is what I did last time because uh, this guy keeps running all the time, even when you're not actually doing anything. So iron. We got some more blocks and I, we'll just track as much as we can in here because that worked last time. Like there was enough stuff in here to do a full full thing of iron blocks. So we need a machine controller. And then it's just like glass and three blocks of steel. So let's get some of the stuff. So we needed 19 reinforced machine casings. We have seven. So we need steel. We got a bit of steel producing. Uh, regular machine casings. Cool, we need some more modularium. It's just iron, bronze, and redstone. Iron. Bronze, we got some. Actually, I know we've got some more over here. Oh, we got modularium here. Let's let's grab that. That was from when I had modularium armor. Let's hold off on uh, doing the alloys just yet. This would be a good opportunity for auto crafting, actually. So we need nineteen. Hey, perfect. So we need a 19 of them. We need three blocks of steel. Um, which will be getting produced over here. Nice. And looking at it, we should be able to get another seven blocks of iron. And we can probably take this coal coke out, because that actually melts really fast. Uh, so we're going to need, like, our normal energy input. This should all be auto-crafted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's set up the auto-crafting, probably. Because it's going to make this way more fun to do. Because some of these multi-block machines, we're going to want to fuel them. So it probably makes sense to do that. So we were out of glowstone, right? That was one of the things that was holding us back for making more patterns. I'll shoot to the nether and grab some of that. Yeah, I'll go do a little bit of mining in the nether. Grab some glowstone, uh, just because we need it. Oh, actually, hang on, is it in here? No. Right, I'll go grab some of that and we'll come back. All right, uh, doing a bit of mining, uh, getting some stuff. Uh, Got some dimensional shards and got the achievement for exotic miner. Um, also found Promethium ore. Now I don't know what we use this for, but that's the first time I've come across it. Oh, somebody's shooting at us. It's blazes. Um, see so if we could, of course. Oh, there's some Promethium ore there as well. And hey, Valerium ore. So these probably aren't super common so just grabbing this stuff and yeah we got a whole bunch of different stuff there um, this definitely wants to be tripled if we can looks like we can now is there any other ore we got yeah we got some other ore like cobalt and uh, ardite that's going to be handy so patterns Should be able to craft like seven patterns. Missing glowstone and quartz glass. All right, because uh, glowstone is in here. Oh, and quartz glass. Ooh, 
We probably want a pattern for that too. So let's get a pattern. Just one. Go. And we get our pattern terminal. We want to teach quartz class. Now. Do I want to use... I probably don't want to use that kind of quartz dust. I don't actually have any of the other type of quartz dust yet. But nether quartz is generally easier to find. Cool. So it will use like a certus quartz dust for making it too. But it will prefer to use nether quartz dust. Let's chuck that in there. And actually, hey, we don't need that prudentium. Now that we figured out we can craft like the stuff easily. So we can reuse this pattern for something else. I think that wants to be... Probably the auto crafting stuff, right? We're going round in circles, but we're getting there. So Emmy interfaces and molecular assemblers. Um, and let's just. I think I'm just getting six patterns. I need more quartz dust. Just getting six patterns because that's as many as we can fit in our current interface. So. So there's patterns, and we can say, hey, craft me these things, which means we need to know how to craft this, this, and this. We've already taught quartz glass. Yeah, hmm, actually. I mean, pure sodas quartz is the way to go. So maybe we'll just bulk craft a bunch of that, and annihilation cores. Do you want crafting table? What? No, just a... Oh. Don't know that we can use like the Tinkerer's crafting table. Cool, and so that should be everything for making molecular assemblers. Emi interfaces requires nothing extra because we've already taught those things, so... This should be good. Can we shift click in here? No. Didn't think we could. Cool, and then we can say, hey, get me... I don't know. So we can have eight in total. So can we get seven? Missing pure... Why are you asking for pure nether quartz and flux dust? <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, can we just get like two then? Pure certus. What is asking for pure nether quartz? You're asking for pure nether quartz. You're asking for pure sort of quartz. Let's change the stewed to just use nether quartz for now. Let's change you to just use sort of quartz for now. And I'll never ever go back and fix that to use the pure ones again. Three? Nice. Molecular assemblers, can we get three? We're out of flux dust. We're out of flux dust, can we get one? Okay, but well, no, we're out of flux dust. Um, we want to store it in, oh, store it in craftable. We got some flux crystals. Obviously we want to automate these machines. Just don't feel like doing it right now. Nice. So the pattern I kind of use, and there is a way more efficient pattern than this, but this is the one I use, is I kind of just make things like this. Like we end up with a square that looks okay. Uh, and we actually end up with like one extra or something. So this is now using four channels so we can fit another four interfaces. Ah, but that'll be cool. Because now we have more room for patterns. Like we can fit this many patterns. So, patterns, patterns, patterns. Nice. Cool. Alright, so let's 
get rid of all this stuff. Normal energy hatch. Needs to know a small energy hatch. Uh, we generally have redstone. Uh, we need to know this thing, and we need to know this thing. Let's do this recipe because it needs doesn't need the torches. Let's do this recipe. Now redstone repeater, we've already taught. Machine casings, we definitely haven't. Hey, let's teach the block of redstone. Um, just saves having to do that later. You can do stuff like spread out where these patterns are. So like this is one molecular assembler and this is a different one. So if you've got all your patterns in one, like if you're crafting something that needs these three different things, you're going to be held up. Whereas if they were spread out like that, then they can be working independently. Which, hey, that might happen. That's cool. I'm not too worried. I just don't want to have to craft this manually. Cool, and that should be everything we need for the solid centrifuge. Um, we're going to set him up. I guess here, I think he's going to be a bit... It's going to get pretty cramped here really quick. Um, we're going to have to extend our factory, so maybe I shouldn't have put the farms there. I mean, let's try and set him up here. Now, we should be able to preview him. It's very transparent. Uh... Like, I can barely see that. So we can just ignore that and we'll just <laughs> do it off this. I think it's just playing up with the shaders. So the bottom layer... Ah, uh, cool. So it's a 3 to 3 of reinforced machine casings. So this is going to be... Actually, wait, how big is this going to be? This is as big as it's ever going to get, right? Yes. So three by three. And we might need a gap. Oof, that's going to be way too big. Um, I guess three by three. That's going to come out to here. It's going to be so tight. I guess that's cool. Yes. Hmm. Not great. I mean, we can still access this. Yeah, maybe it'll be fine. And then we can have our hatches. So we can have like our energy input on the back because our power is just through here and we can run it up underneath, which would be nice. A normal fluid input. I guess we'll probably just go with like a sink under there. Um, output and input. Probably going to want that like here. So that we can access it easily. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. And hey, it's not the machine controller. It's just casings. And then the next layer, that's where the controller goes. Cool. So the controller's going to go there. And now we can actually sneak... Right click this, and now it's going to show us where stuff needs to go, but it's, yeah, so hard to see. It's not actually that helpful. Uh, yes, it is there. I think it was another layer of... Oh, it's empty. All right, I'll finish assembling this, just following this pattern, and yeah, we'll come back when he's, when he's built. All right, and we're up to the last layer. Which is just reinforced machine casing. Hopefully I haven't missed a block of water part way through it. I think it should change color if we assemble it correctly. Nice. Oh, it's blue. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to expand the factory, definitely. I mean, it's not too bad here, but yeah, maybe expanding out here. Maybe moving this inferium farm. Which, hey, look, we're getting a bit of unfair. So that's cool. That's cool. But yeah, uh, possibly not the best place for that. Maybe up on the roof, like a like a glass house type thing could be kind of cool. Yeah. But yeah, so we have this, this dude. So we need to hook up the power. 
And we might have some more of those conduits. So conduits, yes, uh, some fluid conduits, and I've got a sink sitting over here. Which I was just using to fill up this guy. So I guess if we had the sink down here, let's, and we'll just quickly run this dude. Um, but our pressurized fluid conduit needs to be on this guy and come across here. Extract always active. You're going to be insert. So we can come over here. We should be able to right click here. And we can see he's got water. Um, it would be cool if there was a GUI that showed us all the stuff, but that's okay. Like, this shouldn't ever be an issue. I don't think it's going to use water that fast. And then we check the power across here. Hey, we should be able to like tidy this up. Um, I guess we, uh, we don't really want to do that. But yeah, something like that. I, I mean, I'm going to like demolish out this wall anyway. Hey, we have our centrifuge, and I think we can just like chuck cobblestone in here, right? Let's try one. Item input, cobblestone. Isn't that a thing? You take gravel, you take stone, you take cobblestone. Missing input item. It's right there. You take stone. Uh, wait, I'm confused. Read the mod pack guidebook if you had problems. All right. Well, we have problems, so. Uh, the mod pack guidebook, I think, is inside this, right? Oh, that's not really the mod pack guidebook. Greedy craft mod pack guide. All right. Um, entry index. Getting hungry too. Uh, modular machinery. If it hints no item input, try to upgrade item output hatch or put more output hatches. Cool. All right, we'll try another output in case it's because um, like gravel can have so many potential outputs that it wouldn't all fit. Well, I guess we could try like a log then. If that's the case, a log should work because it doesn't have that many potential item outputs. Hey, and that was quick, and we got nothing, but that's cool. So that's the problem. Let's get another reinforced one. Nice. Oh, that auto crafting is so good. Nice, we can just break this. Uh, I guess here would be better. And then we can just like go into a chest. And now we should be able to do like a stone. There we go. And okay. Oh yeah, there, there we go. We're getting some stuff. Getting like some tin and some iron. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, if we looked at stone. Yeah, these were the things we can get. We can, we can get diamonds. Pretty low chance, but we can get diamonds. That's cool. And yeah, so I guess maybe you'd you'd either set up multiple of these and like have one doing dirt, which maybe I wouldn't use dirt. I mean, that's kind of cool, but... Yeah, or grass, or we could do snow and get blizz powder. Again, pretty low chance. 
Ice has yeah, another low chance. Jasper can get sand and stuff. Cool. Limestone can get us gravel and and then of course you could reuse that gravel. Alright guys, we've made ourselves a solid centrifuge uh, and set up the auto crafting for a bunch of modular machinery stuff. Going to be the first of many multi-block machines we're making by the look of things and yeah it's 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 pretty cool. Kind of what I was going for with the like the void ore miner um, but it isn't so much just turning power into ore it's turning cobblestone into ore which is still like cobblestone is really easy to get so that's that's cool. Okay, hey, we'll come back next time. We'll carry on on our way towards the Aeon Steel Forge and probably setting up some, some more auto crafting too. But hey, it's been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.